Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Shocking conditions at a local shelter has Las Vegas Councilwoman Victoria Seaman speaking out. Seaman said she was, quote, appalled with what she saw at the Animal Foundation after she showed up for a surprise visit earlier this week. The smell of animal fecal matter filtered throughout the kennels in the intake area where up to 30 dogs were placed. But according to the shelter, it's normal to see feces from the dogs that are brought in overnight as they spend long hours in animal control vehicles before taken to the shelter. The shelter counters that uh, had she gone to the rest of the shelter, she would have seen teams of cleaning uh, that eventually get to the intake area where no one is really working overnight. Either way, Seaman is calling for an audit of the organization and the item will be up for discussion at the October 19th meeting. A district judge ruled that the Nevada Board of Pharmacy's classification of cannabis as a Schedule One drug is unconstitutional. The ruling comes from a lawsuit filed by the American Civil Liberties Union of Nevada. District Judge Joe Hardy Jr. agreed with the ACLU's argument that marijuana does have an accepted medical use since it was legalized in 2000. The Clark County School District is facing a lawsuit filed by a mother of a teenager who was stabbed at Cimarron Memorial High School in December. School police said a fist fight between two boys escalated into a stabbing when a staff member broke up the fight and took the knife. Court documents allege the school district failed to stop the attack in time to prevent the injuries afflicted. Visit LVRJ.com for more details on the lawsuit. For years, Southern Nevadans were encouraged to replace grass lawns with desert landscaping to combat the drought along the Colorado River. But a new study published by researchers from the Desert Research Institute, UNLV, and Arizona State University examined whether this conservation effort will lead to rising temperatures in desert cities like Las Vegas. Oasis landscaping seems to provide the best of both worlds by keeping daytime temps cooler, offering more shade than desert landscaping, and requiring less water than grass and trees. Visit LVRJ.com to learn more. And Metro officers are hoping that with the new incoming sheriff will also come with new uniforms. After nearly 50 years of the same bulky uniforms, officers are hoping for something lighter and more flexible to help in the line of duty. Incoming Sheriff Kevin McMahill is planning on taking action, but noted that he cannot make any changes until he takes office in January. Officers hoped for new designs that would include a more sturdy body camera mount and vest to hold weapons. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, Boyd Gaming is hosting an in-person hiring event Tuesday, September 20th, offering approximately 50 positions at Sam's Town Hotel and Gambling Hall. Some of the positions available include housekeeping, security, table games, and a variety of food and beverage positions. Attendees are encouraged to bring ID, a resume, and come dress professionally. Interviews will be conducted on site and job offers will be extended immediately during the hiring fair. Job seekers can apply at boydcareers.com. Now to your weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Happy Friday, everyone. We're looking at sunny and clear conditions in the valley today with highs reaching around 92 degrees. Light winds throughout the day, evening lows around 71 degrees. For the weekend, similar conditions, stronger winds at around 18 miles per hour will hit the valley Saturday and Sunday, but temps will remain in the low 90s for your daytime highs. Evening lows staying in the upper 60s, low 70s all weekend long. Vegas Nation, brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the mobile app today. Raiders defensive end Chandler Jones was most recently with the Arizona Cardinals and spoke about what it's going to be like facing his former teammate, Kyler Murray. Yeah, I think Kyler, uh, like I said before, is a very unique player. He's very hard to emulate. Uh, the things that he does, his arm strength, he has a very strong arm, but his, his legs, he's very fast. So um, we'll have a, definitely have a task at hand, well, a tough task at hand to, you know, to get after him, but we should be fine as long as everyone does their job. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Best Mattress, Best Service, Best Selection, Best Price Guaranteed. If you're a fan of beer, pork schnitzel, and bratwurst, a promise of the most authentic Oktoberfest is coming soon. Review Journal Jen Ah gives us a sneak peek. That's right. Organizers are going all out, giving us a taste of what's to come at the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign. 
presented by 70 Brew. This year's Oktoberfest at the Orleans Arena Festival Grounds will be a four day party featuring all kinds of performances. September 29th through October 2nd at the Orleans Festival Grounds. It's going to be a great four day festival. Uh, appropriate for the whole family to have fun with lots of activities. And a traditional German menu, which includes pretzels, bratwurst, pork schnitzel, and apple strudel. For those who want to wash down their beer with American food, there's also a long list of local food trucks, including Capriati's and Lloyd's Barbecue. And of course, you can't have Oktoberfest without a slew of beers, including Jägermeister and Jägermeister cold brew tastings. Tanea Creek's Bonanza Brown Ale and 70 Brews Oktoberfest beer. Grand Oktoberfest, almost like the one in Munich. I mean, it's going to be big. For full disclosure, Review Journal is one of the sponsors. Tickets start at 12 bucks, with VIP upgrades going for up to 59 bucks. Now on sale at Oktoberfest.Vegas. Sports, sponsored by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. The Aces, looking to win the first championship in franchise history, lost to the Connecticut Sun 105-76 in Game 3 of the WNBA Finals Thursday at Mohegan Sun Arena. Jackie Young led the Aces with 22 points, and Asia Wilson added 19 points and 4 rebounds. The Aces now lead the best of five series 2-1 and have a chance to clinch the series on Sunday. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. UNLV, looking for its second victory of the season, is a 2.5 favorite at the Westgate Superbook over visiting North Texas on Saturday. The Rebels are 145 on the money line and North Texas is plus 125. The total is 63 and a half. In other college football games Saturday, Oklahoma is an 11 point favorite over Nebraska and the total is 66 and a half. UNR is a 23 and a half point underdog at Iowa and the total is 39. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. The Win Las Vegas is partnering with Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback Tom Brady's health and wellness company, TB12. It's all to provide body coaching for guests and Southern Nevada residents. Announced Monday, Brady and his longtime body coach will offer sessions at the Encore Fitness Center beginning September 22nd. For more on the TB12 method, costs, and treatments, visit LVRJ.com. And the Red Cross of Nevada is celebrating National Hispanic Heritage Month. They're honoring the contributions of Hispanic and Latino Red Crossers. A big focus is on ensuring Spanish-speaking communities receive tools that they need in their language, including staff support and information. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Happy Friday. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.